Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to take a design in Silhouette Studio and get it ready to cut um, when you're going to be layering multiple colors of vinyl on top of each other. Um, a lot of times designs will come where they're full pieces like this, where you've got um, one color of vinyl layer on top of another color, which is layer on top of another color and so forth. So if you were to take this and cut it the way it is um, by color, and then try to, let's say, apply this on a t-shirt with HTV, you're going to have a section <clears throat> where there is four layers of vinyl in the center. And that doesn't always look the greatest. So today I'm going to show you how to avoid um, that issue. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use my undo button and put everything back the way it was. So what you want to do first is you want to make sure that your entire um, design is ungrouped. So I'm going to, going to select the entire thing. I already ungrouped it once, but I'm going to double check and make sure, yes, there's no way to ungroup it any further. Um, some designs have multiple groupings, so you want to keep um, selecting ungroup until it's grayed out and you can no longer ungroup it. And that's, that's how you'll know that your design is fully ungrouped. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to draw um, registration marks, which is really helpful when you go to actually layer your vinyl together after you've cut it. So I'm just drawing a little um, rectangle at the top, and then I'm going to make a copy by holding down control and using my arrows. And that way I have um, four boxes up top because I have four colors in my design. So now I'm going to select the first box, and if I hold down control, the little eyedropper will appear, and then I'm going to click, and now I have applied the properties from where I clicked to the box that was selected. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for each color. Okay, so now I am going to highlight all of these boxes, or sorry, um, select all of those boxes. I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to choose the center button and center all of my boxes together. They're perfectly aligned on top of each other. And then I'm going to move those over back somewhere in the center of my design. It doesn't need to be perfect, just wherever is fine. Um, you just want to make sure that your boxes aren't too far from your design because that will cause some extra waste um, with your vinyl once you go to cut. Okay, so we have our registration marks created and now I'm going to select the um, entire design minus the registration boxes. I'm going to come over here and open up my modify panel and I'm going to select um, subtract all. So what I have done now is um, I have gone ahead and basically cropped out any layers of vinyl. So if you look, when I move these pieces, there no longer is vinyl underneath it. Anywhere where there was a piece of vinyl layered on top of another piece, it has gone and omitted that um, section of vinyl underneath. So I'm going to use my undo button and put everything back the way it was supposed to be. All right, now I can go and I can select the entire design, including my registration marks. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna open up the select by color panel. And when you do that, Silhouette software gives you two options. You can make selections based on line color, which right now I have no line colors. Um, I went ahead and made them transparent before I began um, this video. So I have no line color, that's why it's saying no color. I can group anything that has no line color together, or I can select by fill color which is what we wanna do for um, this purpose. So you're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select the um, purple. And then I'm gonna use control group or control G to group. Um, you can right click to group. You could come up here and use this little group button. Um, all of it works. I just prefer to use keyboard commands. So I hold down control and hit G to group together my objects. Next, I'm gonna select the fuchsia. So right now I only have the fuchsia objects in the design selected and I'm gonna control G to group it. I'll do the same with the turquoise and the same with the black. So now what I have done is I have gone through and I have grouped together every color um, in this design. So I can put all these off to the side and I can load some purple vinyl on my mat and cut that and then when that's cut I can you know go ahead and put the black on here and load some black vinyl onto my mat and so forth you can do that with all the colors then once you're all finished with that and you have your vinyl um, cut weed your vinyl and then you can start with the back layer and you can lay that down and then you can take your next color and layer it on top and as long as you match up these boxes at the very top then you know that you have a perfect alignment of your actual design and then you could do the turquoise. And then of course, whenever you go to put this on your surface, whether it's you know a t-shirt or you know a wood sign or whatever it may be, um, 
you just want to omit your registration boxes, of course, and just leave your design on there. Okay, well, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below.